Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. Now that my two obligatory informative videos are done for the day, it's time to talk about current events in the online fitness world. Uh, and we have a doozy today, so let me put on my plus five hat of weaponsmithing, work on skilling up my crafting a little bit, and let's talk about this. This one's probably going to be almost as big as the WFN thing, because Rich Piana is one of the biggest names in the industry. I had to do a little digging. I didn't want to do this video without a little bit of digging and getting the backstory. But apparently, this is a recorded conversation. Recorded conversation uh, between <laughs> Piana and his ex-wife. And uh, let's just put it this way. It's uh, pretty racist. Pretty racist. Um, one of those cases where Rich probably forgot one of the rules. When you're a public figure, you assume every phone call that you make is recorded. If you don't ever ever say anything over any sort of uh, phone that you don't want people to ever hear later someday, whether it's in a courtroom, on the news, on YouTube, something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. So before I play this for you guys, and I found a couple different copies of it, I'm going to cite the remix, uh, the, the one that I found just a little bit um, before I play it for you guys. You know, I covered this the other day on my political and firearm channel. I covered this with the Bill Maher thing that, look, guys, I believe in equality. Okay, I believe in equality. I think I believe in free speech. But it's probably not a good idea for white dudes to ever say the N-word. It's not a good idea in general. I'm going to recommend you don't say it. Don't say it behind closed doors. Don't say it over the phone. Okay, probably one of those you should just leave alone. Probably better off if you just do. Uh, Rich kind of took it to a whole other level. I'm going to go ahead and just play it for you guys here. Why are you sticking up for yourself about this fucking Why are you sticking up for yourself? Are you a fucking lover? Are you a motherfucking piece of shit? White trash? Fucking lover? I've already went over this with you before. What? Are you a piece of shit? White trash? Fucking lover? You let fucking lovers fucking kiss you on the cheek. I'm fucking disgusted out of my fucking mind. Fucking hang your motherfucking self from a goddamn fucking rope and fucking hang your motherfucking ass. I'm disgusted as fuck. And you go and put the motherfucker as a friend on your fucking Facebook. And you're gonna sit here and fucking defend it? Like I said, I'm gonna have to say again. Because you're not fucking answering the fucking question. If I put a fucking black bitch that was kissing me in the gym in front of you, and me and you had an issue over her, and she was pulling a pussy out of the parking lot to some fucking other guy, and we talked about what a piece of shit she is. Yeah. I mean, damn. Damn, Rich. Um... All I'm going to say on that, Rich, uh, you got black fans. All right, you got black fans. Uh, any of them who heard that, you just lost them. You just lost a big, big segment of your fan base. Because let's be honest here. Anyone who puts out lifting advice, we are going to get a pretty good chunk of black dudes as our followers. Okay, all of us. All of us. That's reality. Uh, you get caught saying something like that, and it can be proven it's you. It's your voice. Or you get recorded saying something like that. Not stuff that people try to stick to you or claim that you did when there's no real proof. Really say it, and it can be linked to you. Um, that's devastating to your career. Because uh, you probably going to lose a lot of customers. You'll lose a lot of fans. Uh, it wasn't a wise move. And I understand that, that. There are people out there who have their own beliefs. You know what? If a person wants to be racist, you know what? I'm going to say it's their right to be racist. If you don't like black people, you don't like white people, you don't like Hispanic people, you know what? That's your right. That's your right to believe what you want. Um, I choose not to believe that way. It's a choice I make. It's a grown adult. We make those choices of what we decide we're going to judge people based on. Um, but... You know, if you're going to have those viewpoints, you need to understand that if you express those viewpoints, there can be consequences. And when you're talking like that about it, it's obviously something you believe in pretty strongly. Uh, you believe in pretty strongly. Um, to take it to the extreme he did there, 
And, you know, you're going to be repeating that stuff around your loved ones, close friends, things like that. It's going to get around eventually, particularly if you're a public figure. Um, you know, at a certain point, you've got to step back and decide is having that belief even worth it to you. In this case, it probably isn't going to be for Rich. Now, is he upset that his ex at that time, I guess he was married to her, got seen taking a picture with another man kissing her on the cheek? He didn't like it. You know what? That's his prerogative. That's reasonable. Say, hey, I don't like that. I'm pissed about it. Uh, she apparently added him on Facebook or something as a friend. And it was Magic Johnson, by the way. Magic Johnson of all people. Uh, you know, I can understand him being upset. You know, I can understand him being upset if he took it that way. If that dude's uh, hitting on this girl. She friends him on Facebook after. Yeah, I can see him getting pissed off. I mean, that's his wife. Um, but... You know, the, the racist rant, uh, this is what it is. I mean, it just shows kind of, this is how the dude feels. This is who he is. That's what he believes. Uh, he believes it pretty strongly, feels it pretty strongly. I, uh, I don't know what to think of that. I didn't even expect that from Rich. Quite frankly, guys, I did not honestly have any impression at all that there was anything racist about Rich. I uh, didn't know had nothing that I was aware of that he's done that would uh, show that, but then again, got a guy who slapped around a mentally handicapped person and then manipulated that person to uh, not press charges, because let's be honest here, after he slapped Genova on camera, Genova's got learning disabilities. You physically strike uh, someone with mental uh, learning disabilities on camera and they press charges against you, particularly in a place like California, because I think that's where that happened. Um, you know, that's a potential felony. You can get in some deep trouble for that. You get in some deep trouble for that. And he did that and did it to teach someone a lesson. I mean, it's like Callie Muscle and all these other people getting upset over the Order 66. And I get Order 66 all the time. Honestly, guys, with the stuff I deal with, that's the least of my worries on the Internet. Like the stuff that I deal with, uh, Order 66 is the least of my concern. I don't even care. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't do anything. It's just, it's a bunch of silliness. It doesn't really affect you. You can delete them. You can block them. It's not a big deal. Uh, but, you know, these guys get all upset over these Order 66s. Uh, Cali Muscle has gotten upset, making threats over the Order 66. He's going to harm a mentally handicapped person over it. Piana did. He slapped him publicly and then gave him free publicity to make up for it. And that's the messed up part. You know, that's the messed up part. Piana... Gave him free publicity to try to be friendly with him so that he wouldn't press charges. Because he knew if he pressed charges, he was in trouble. But if he just put him in some videos, gave him a little publicity, that, that he would totally forgive him and they would be friends and everything would be good after he slapped the shit out of him on camera. That's what we're dealing with here. All right, that's what we're dealing with. So, I mean, it comes down to that, you know, maybe it's no surprise to me. Someone's willing to do that to a mentally handicapped person. Um, I guess it's not unexpected they've got some other interesting viewpoints uh they've got their own viewpoints but all i'm going to say is this is already circulating i'm definitely i know of just while i was trying to research it when people were telling me about it a couple hours ago and i started looking into it uh i know at least two other youtubers have already covered this i'm behind the boat on it i'm behind it's going to spread already. I mean, it's going to go everywhere. Um, this is not going to be good for Rich's career. It's not going to be good for his image. It's not going to be good for his money. Uh, I don't know how he's going to recover from it. He, if he's going to ignore it, if he's going to make an apology, I don't know. But I can honestly tell you uh, an apology probably isn't going to help him at all. Apology's not going to help him at all. He would probably do best to ignore it. Uh, some things are better to ignore than to apologize for. Sometimes your apology is going to come across insincere and cause you more negative publicity than ignoring it. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be blowback. There's going to be blowback. Uh, Rich is probably going to have problems at some of these expos um, as a result of this. I can see some of these guys out there uh, confronting him over it and he likes to do expos. That's just a reality of it, man. Uh, I see this as having a lot of blowback for Rich. I don't see it going well for him. And then again, you know, he chose to say that. He chose to say those things. Probably didn't know he was being recorded, but uh, a little extreme there, buddy. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. 
and I will talk to you guys next time.